Good morning, I'm Patrick over at Refinish Bath Solutions. Today I'm going to lay out all the tools that you're going to need to do a full recasting job on your tub. First thing we're going to need is going to be just a simple screwdriver. I prefer to use one of the convertible ones just based on whether or not your drain and your overflow cover are going to have Phillips head screws or flat head screws. We need a screwdriver. We're going to need just a razor knife to cut out the caulking along the edge of your tub. Followed by that, we're going to need a little bit of duct tape. Uh, this is important to put on the front of the tub, followed by some paper with some regular masking tape. This right here will prevent any material from running down onto the floor. When you're finished, you want to pull this off last. We'll go over that later though. Some regular two inch tape to go over the walls. Okay. All right, we're also going to need the spreader that comes with your kit. Smooth out the material. We're gonna need one of these wide toothed combs. This is also gonna come with your kit. We're gonna smooth all the material and level it on the bottom. This is a very important tool. Uh, to clean the tub, we're gonna use some regular kitchen gloves. And I prefer to recommend the, uh, the power cleaning Lysol just to wash the tub and make sure you get out any bacteria, any uh, soap scum or residue that's on the walls. It will also etch the tub. You want to wear the gloves when you're wearing uh, when you're using the Lysol. Uh, we're also going to scrub it in well with just one of the scrubby sponges again to remove any soap scum. Let's see what else do we have here? We've got just a regular solo cup. You're going to pour the material in here. It'll make it nice and easy to get along the edges, and we'll cover that a little later. Lastly, pretty important, though it might not seem it, is just a sandwich baggie. You're going to want to put this over your drain and also over your shower head and put one piece of tape around it. This is just going to prevent any water from dripping into the unit. Uh, aside from that, the last thing we would need is just a simple hair dryer. If you get any little bubbles in the material when you're smoothing it out, on the last coat, you're going to go around with a hairdryer. This will instantly pop any bubbles and leave you with a nice, perfectly smooth finish. All right, uh, tune in on the next video for uh, how we do the cleaning steps, followed by application, cleanup, everything like that. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe for more. Also, hit the like button down the bottom, and we'll see you soon.